Greetings and Happy New Year. This is the day the Lord has made and I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. I hope that you will too. Um, this is our introductory video to the 2018 My Vision Fast. I apologize for the lighting. It's kind of dark. But um, anyway, we're going to go on anyway because I like to give you all um, the overview of the entire fast so that as we move forward, um, you won't have any questions, hopefully. Um, but anyway, we're going to jump right into this is just an explanation of the fast. So back in 2011, um, I was led to go on my own vision fast. I was working and serving um, a ministry and we were revamping the vision of the church. And uh, I felt like the spirit just kind of tapped me on my shoulder and I asked, so what is my vision for you? Do you even know that? And so in the in November, actually in November of 2011, I believe it was, um, I began to just fast and pray about God's vision for my life. And at the end of the 21 days, um, I released that assignment and move forward and have been walking forward ever since. And so when that January came of the next year, the very next year, literally like two months later, um, I wanted to invite others to experience what God had led me to experience when putting time aside to specifically ask God for God's vision for my life. We focus a lot on the vision for the companies we work with, the schools we work for, the churches we serve, um, the various community organizations and volunteer agencies that we work with. We spend a lot of time furthering the mission of those larger bodies, but we don't a lot of time spend enough time on uh, Lord, what is it that you would have for me to do in this season? And so that is what the My Vision Fast is all about. You can go to www.myvisionfast.com for more information on that. So to this year's fast, I'm so excited about the scripture reading, about all three parts of the Vision Fast. Um, the My Vision Fast is a 21-day opportunity for you to join with men and women via social media who desire to prayerfully seek God um, for divine vision, divine purpose um, for your life. Okay, so the whole goal is to seek to see God's vision for your life in this season in this season. The dates for this year's fast are January 8th through 28th, January 8th through 28th. Um, and there is a three-part My Vision Fast plan, a three-part My Vision Fast plan. There's the spiritual plan, the physical plan, and the practical plan. The spiritual plan, the physical plan, and the practical plan. The spiritual plan, basically for the next 21 days, we will focus on three different aspects of what, it, of, of, of what we see. Basically, week one, we will look at how do you see God in yourself? Week two, we will look at what do you see as your divine assignment in this season? And week three, we will look at what do you see as the next right step in God's vision for your life. So how do you see God in yourself? And those scriptures for that week are already outlined. There's a scripture for every day of the week for all 21 days of the fast. There are scriptures that are already outlined on the plan. Um, and that first week again is how do you see God and how do you see yourself? That's the question that you should be reflecting on. And week two, what do you see as your divine assignment in this season? And so those, um, that question, um, is a question that you ask yourself every day as you go through week two. And then week three is what do you see as the next right step in God's vision for your life? And for those of you all who've been fasting with us for the last, I believe, six or seven years, um, you may be thinking, didn't we do these questions last year and the year before that and the year before that and the year before that? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Because in every season, God may be calling us to something new or something different or a variation of the same thing. And so this is an opportunity at the top of the year to just kind of tap into what God may be speaking to you in this season. 
Okay, so that's the spiritual plan. The spiritual plan is reading the scriptures and reflecting on the scriptures um, and answering those questions um, also. Physical plan is the, the prayer and the fasting. Of course, we want you to pray every day, but we also want you to fast. We want you to encourage you to um, sacrifice. And it is your choice. You don't. You can do the Daniel fast or you can give up your favorite candy or you can give up maybe something that you have a tendency to eat every day. Just give it up for 21 days. Sacrifice something. Um, put forth the effort to show the Lord that you are serious um, about hearing an answer and gaining clarity about God's vision for your life in this season. So it really is important for us to be mindful of what we eat um, during the season, but also what you see. This is a fast about vision. And so be mindful Mindful of the things that you see. What are you watching on television? What are you watching on the internet? What are you, you know, what kind of Facebook posts are you reading or Twitter um, feeds are you reading? What 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 are your eyes seeing during this time? Are you watching things and reading things that are inspirational and motivational and are helping you get towards your goals and fulfill your dreams? And what kind of things are your eyes seeing? Um, and and so be mindful of that. What you see and and what you eat. So that's the physical part of the plan. And then the last part is the practical part, you know, just writing the answers to those questions, not just answering them in your spirit, which is wonderful, but actually writing down the answers um, to the questions that you are being asked each day week. Um, so that is important. So that way, as you progress through the 21 days, you can see how God has been speaking to you and remember how God has spoken to you um, over the next three weeks or so. Okay. Of course, week one, you want to focus on vision of God and self. Week two is the vision of your desi divine assignment. And week three is the vision of life and your next right step as it relates to your family, your finances, your career, your marriage, your retirement, etc. Um, whatever that next right step is for you. Um, the other part of the practical plan is not just writing down your reflections, but it is also checking in with the group. Um, be a part of the Facebook group, get encouragement, share things there that might encourage someone else. Maybe your reflections on the scripture, um, could inspire and encourage someone else or remind someone else to be reading for the day. Um, maybe, um, something that God showed you through an article or maybe a song that inspired you that particular day to keep everyone in the group encouraged. We have over a thousand members in our Facebook group and of course not every Everyone is active, but maybe that would encourage some more people to get active, to be focused on seeking to see God's vision for their life. So make sure you get active in the Facebook group. And if you know people, maybe in your church, in your um, small groups or things like that, they may not be active on Facebook, but they do have internet service. Um, send them to www.myvisionfast.com and there's all the information listed for the My Vision Fast, but they can also leave their own reflections there. So that's another way for them to share and engage and encourage other people. Um, I think that pretty much sums it up. Um, my Vision Fast, three weeks, 21 days, January 8th through 28th. It's a three-part plan. The spiritual plan, the physical plan, what you eat and what you see, and the practical plan of just writing down um, uh, God's inspiration to you throughout the fast, as well as um, checking in with the group so that you can be an encouragement to someone else. Um, lastly, I just want to say that this is a very special time. Um, God continues to answer prayer and to speak to and through um, each and every one of us during this time. So take it seriously because I promise you every year there are testimonies as a result of the My Vision Fast. Every year. There has not been a year where God has not changed someone's life as a result of this fast. So take it very seriously. Um, the very last thing I do want to encourage you to do is get on the calls. Get on the call. So join the movement. Of course, connect to us through social media or just through the website. Join the movement. Um, follow the plan, the three-part plan, and get on the calls. Every Sunday evening, beginning 
um, Sunday, January 7th, we will have a prayer conference call just to rally us and to encourage us um, for the week. Um, it'll last maybe about 10 to 15 minutes um, where we will have a weekly reflection, um, hopefully that will help move us forward toward gaining clarity about God's vision for our lives in this season. Well, my friends, my name is Delesslin Kennebrew. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your participation in this year's fast. And I am so excited about what God is going to do in and through your life as a result of the My Vision Fast as you intentionally seek to see what God's vision is for your life. Let us pray. Gracious and glorious God, thank you so much for being so good and so kind. Your mercies are new every morning and great is your faithfulness. And so even in this moment, God of sight and God of vision, we ask God that you would help us to see you, help us to see ourselves and help us to see your next right step for us in this season. God, we love you. We honor you and we praise you and we believe that it is so in Jesus name we pray. Amen. God loves you and I do too. Peace.